Hey guys, welcome back. In today's uh, video, we're going to be looking and doing a quick review on a winter weathering set by Vallejo. Uh, picked this one up at a show recently. Uh, going to be using it for my Stalingrad uh, table. Um, obviously, the armor and, and a lot of the buildings and things, we're going to need to weather them. Thought this was a uh, excellent and cheap way to go. This usually retails in the States or online at about $35 American. Um, I was actually pretty lucky. I was able to pick it up for $25 Canadian at the show. Um, shout out to Martin over at uh, JM Miniatures. Great guy to deal with. Definitely recommend you go over and check out their stuff. Uh, as far as a Canadian supplier goes, it's going to be tough to beat. Um, he's a great guy. If he doesn't have it, he'll try and find it for you. So just a quick shout out for him there. But um, let's just, just jump right into this. Uh, the winter weathering kit, it comes with a uh, large assortment of paints and brushes, um, a sponge for the proper weathering technique. Uh, let's just go through quick what, uh, what exactly it comes with. Uh, it's going to come with foundation white, basalt gray, tan earth, gunmetal, black, red leather, chocolate brown. Uh, it comes with a sepia wash, sandy paste, uh, two brushes size 1 and size 2 round and a flat regular rectangular sorry uh, as well as a natural sponge so it gives you everything that you need to do a uh, proper weathering job on any sort of armored vehicle um, very impressed with the packaging and then on the back they give you sort of a step by step if I can get that to focus gives you a step by step process on what to do and how to pick out the details um, Really impressed the the packaging, the artwork's nice. It's a, it's a quality set, guys, which shouldn't surprise you, being that it's coming from Vallejo. So, just a quick overview, you know, uh, as as always, high quality stuff. Uh, impressed with the way it's packaged, as far as safety, um, you don't have to worry about the paints, bottles, things of that nature leaking and exploding. Just their typical. Uh, eyedropper bottles so all in all very impressed can't wait to use it when I do use it I will be sure to upload a video to you guys just to show you the uh, work in progress as well as the end result of using the product but uh, all in all pretty happy with how it came up but uh, stay tuned we're gonna have a couple more uh, uh, product reviews regarding some paint sets that I picked up at the show as well so stay tuned to that and uh, thanks for stopping by guys